I've made four figures in the last 30 days by staking the time cryptocurrency. Now, does that mean the project is legit or did I get incredibly lucky by timing this thing? I'm going to do my best to explain all this in just a few minutes. So let's go down the rabbit hole and talk about Wonderland. The question you have right now is the 80,000% APY sustainable. The short answer is yes, but that's not the important question. What you should be asking is, is the price of time sustainable? Because that's a whole different topic. And I think you'll be surprised to know the answer. First, let's not beat around the bush. Wonderland is basically a Ponzi. That's not a bad thing, but it's not a good thing either. The community doesn't deny this as well. But a lot of things are Ponzi's. In fact, most currencies in the world are not backed by any resources. The only thing backing them is trust in the governments printing them. Wonderland is trying to achieve the same thing here, but a little different. A community owned money printer, which is aiming to make time a reserve currency backed mainly by the US dollar, but a crypto version of it. This crypto dollar is called MIM, Magic Internet Money. See, in crypto, we have these things called stable coins. Basically, they just track the price of another asset. MIM, for example, tracks the price of the US dollar. So one MIM equals one USD. Okay, now you know what a stable coin is and you know that MIM is a stable coin pegged to the US dollar. That's 50% of the explanation right there. But before we talk about how Wonderland works and all the magic inside it, let's talk about how much money I made in the last 30 days. Okay, so I wrote down the stats in my phone and let's read them off. On October 24th, exactly 30 days ago from this video, I purchased $1,000 worth of time for a price of $7,300 per coin. This gave me an equivalent of 0.1376 time coins. I then took that time and staked it on the Wonderland Money website and forgot about it for 30 days. Before I tell you the exact number of how much I made, Let's talk about these staking rewards first and how they work. Before we get into some awesome content, let's talk about the official sponsor of DeFi Donut, Pool Together, which allows me to give you guys free and frequent videos. Imagine having $73 in your bank account just to wake up one day to a balance of $43,760 because that actually happened to a Pool Together user just a few months ago. See, Pool Together is one of those DeFi apps that seems too good to be true. It is a no loss crypto lottery, which just means instead of your money buying tickets, it is pooled together with other people's funds to earn interest in the DeFi world. That interest earned every week is combined and distributed to a few lucky winners. You can withdraw your funds at any time, so you have absolutely nothing to lose. So head over to pooltogether.com and get paid to literally save money. Good luck, guys. Staking rewards are distributed every eight hours. When you stake time, you get back memo, which stands for memories, and acts as a receipt. Your memo balance will then keep increasing as your staking rewards are earned and added back to your balance. This is called auto compounding, and it's great because it effortlessly increases your earning potential three times per day after each reward distribution, creating a snowball effect. Keep in mind, you can redeem your memo for time whenever you want. In the dashboard, you see a few things here. First is the APY or annualized returns, as well as the dollar amount of how much money is staked in the protocol. If you take a closer look in the top left, you can see the countdown until the next rewards distribution. Then you can see your staked balance and your next reward amount, which means how much time you will receive after the countdown expires. And of course, they added a five day ROI, which is telling me here that I'm earning about 9.6% every five days. So how much did I make in the 30 days of staking? About $1,100, which is basically a 2X of what I originally put up. So yes, this is a Ponzi economic model, but that doesn't mean that it's a scam. It also doesn't mean that the developers aren't brilliant. But how does time get printed out of thin air? Well, it doesn't. Each time is backed by actual crypto assets, but not as much as people think. Each time that gets minted essentially only needs to be backed by $1, as the documentation says. So why is the price of time $9,000, for example, when it's fundamentally only a $1 backed currency? I don't know, probably because the 80,000% annual returns for staking. The more you buy, the more you can stake, the more you can make. Okay, but where do these reserves come from that justify printing all of these time coins? Well, I'm glad you asked. The answer is kind of simple. The Wonderland Treasury generates reserves by selling time at a discount. This is called a bond. Here's how this works. Let's say the current market price for time is $9,000. The Treasury will sell time for $8,800 to anyone who is willing to wait a week to receive it. So let's say I do spend $8,800 of MIM to buy a bond for one time coin. 
I'm hoping that over the next week, while I'm waiting to receive my time, the price either stays where it's currently at or goes higher, right? If the price stays the same, then I got my time at a $200 discount. So the treasury is getting all of these other crypto assets as revenue from people buying time at a discount. I'm sure most people are wondering why the price of time hasn't crashed yet by people just dumping and selling off their earned rewards. The answer is simple, and it's just two words, game theory. Long story short, human psychology mixed with economics makes for greedy profit seekers and a very interesting outcome. So the whole three comma three meme or the top hat comma top hat, which is Wonderland's take on that meme means one thing. If everyone stakes and doesn't sell, everyone's bags keep going up, right? This three by three grid used in game theory shows us the best outcome and the worst outcome that can happen here. Say that there was only two people in the Wonderland ecosystem. The worst outcome happens if they both start selling their time because the price will go down. The best outcome happens if they both stake their time and don't sell right? And finally, the not so bad outcome is if one person stakes and the other buys bonds. So far, it looks like the vast majority of participants have been staking and not selling. If the majority start unstaking and selling though, the price will quickly reflect that and begin dropping. So if a bank run were to happen, it gets kind of interesting because the less people staked in the pool, the more rewards to be had, right? So in a way, a lot of people exiting makes staking more profitable and will likely lure people back in. Keep in mind that Wonderland, at the time of this recording, it is unaudited, so don't get too crazy about it. It's definitely an interesting experiment of game theory, human psychology, and reserve currency. I'm not saying this is a scheme. I'm also not saying that it's not a scheme. Uh, I'm not telling you to try it out. I'm not telling you not to try it out. Do your own research, experiment if you'd like, and just have fun exploring DeFi. I'm here to guide you and help you as you explore this DeFi world. So if you like the videos, click subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.